I've just spent the last eight hours trying to understand Tarscade as a Notion user. And to save you guys all of the trouble of spending eight hours essentially pulling your hair out, trying to figure things out, what I thought I'd do is just give you a summary of what I found in the last eight hours. Now, I am biased in that I've been using Notion for over two years, and there are things that Task A can do that I probably don't know because, like I say, I've only spent eight hours using the app. But because I don't want to subject you to listening to eight hours of me ramble on and swear at a computer, I figured I'd just give you a summary of what I found Notion compared to Task Aid. Task Aid definitely has some things that Notion doesn't, but there are a lot of things that Notion has that Task Aid doesn't have. What I could figure out is Task Aid has over Notion is the calling ability inside the app, which for me isn't really that useful because I'm going to use Zoom anyway, because I schedule my meetings through Calendly, which goes to Zoom, so I wouldn't be using that. Then time blocking is much more efficient in Task Aid because you have the weekly view and the agendas. However, one of the cons in Task Aid is that adding a date to something actually takes quite a while. It's, it's a bit of a manual process, so setting up that time blocking could be a bit of an irritation. And similar with the repeated tasks when you repeat that task it's it's a manual process to set the date but if you're okay setting those up then you're fine and then time blocking is much better in task aid than it is in notion currently and then task aid has email reminders which notion kind of has kind of doesn't but task aid definitely does that better now it's going to be hard for me not to go through this list because these were some really big frustrations as a Notion user I had with Taskade. The first one being the ability to relate projects together. So it's project management and for me a video is a project. If I can't see the what I've done for previous projects when I'm planning out the project I'm doing it means I, I can't see the archive so I have to split the, the tabs. So I have to have two tabs open to be able to see what's going on. In Notion, I can just embed the database into the page, which comes to the second point. In Notion, you can embed as many databases in the page as you want. So I can be planning out a project while seeing my other projects, other tasks and other notes all filtered to different things in that view. So I don't have to go bouncing around everywhere to try and remember what happened, try and find notes, try and find tasks or organize. And that's the next point, because in Notion, you have the ability to view a calendar inside the page. I don't have to go outside. So when I'm planning out the project in Taskgate from what I found, if I put a date on it, I don't know whether that clashes with something else or not. I have to go back to my calendar to see if it clashes. So that planning process takes longer because you have to bounce backwards and forwards. And for me, if I'm planning out, what's that? If I'm planning out 30 pieces of content and I have to bounce backwards and forwards for each one, that's just going to take too long. Something else, as a note taker, I take a lot of notes. I clip a lot of notes. Taskade, I, what I found, there wasn't a clipper. So clipping notes from articles, blogs, etc. just wasn't a thing. And if you do want to take notes, notes turn into essentially tasks or they are inside of a project. They're not inside a note storage anywhere else. So to be able to surface the note, you have to remember what project you put the note in. It's not something you can just look at all the notes for. And similarly, if you have a meeting, and the meeting has notes, you can't access those notes from the meeting outside of the project. Whereas in Notion, you can just have it on your dashboard so you can see all the, the recent notes, all the notes for that meeting, that needs for, that notes for that project or task. It's easier to customize what you want to see and where you want to see it. This is a big one when it comes to dashboards and being able to view information. In Taskade, you have that, that white space color background. For me, waste of space, waste of time. I, I, I'd much rather see more information. And you can't put columns in Taskade. You, you you can't do it. So if you have just a long list of things, you're just going to scroll up and down. In Notion, just make two columns or make three columns so you can see them next to one another. So you don't have to do the whole scroll. So you can see more information on the page at once. Now, for me, that saves so much time. For those of you that have seen my space in Notion, I have my notes and my planning as columns at the top of the screen. So I can see everything I need to without scrolling. And then I plan because I've got calendars underneath, which again relates to that earlier point. Another thing Notion has over Taskade, which I couldn't find in Taskade, is the ability to do formulas or calculations. In Notion, you have a formula property. You can do numerous different calculations. Those of you familiar with my channel will know I use formulas quite a bit in my space, so all around the place so I can customize it how I want. And being able to do basic calculations, you just can't do it in Taskade. 
There is a progress bar that's automatically put in, which is nice, but because in Taskade, each block essentially is a task, maybe if I want to write a note, the note has to be a separate block to the task, otherwise that note becomes a task, and you're like, well, it's not a task, it's just notes. I feel like I'm bashing on Taskade a little bit, but these are just points that I've seen as a Notion user that I would want to see in an app before I move from Notion to Taskade. Um, so the next point is filtering and sorting. There are filters in Taskade, but they are nowhere near as advanced as the filters in Notion. In Notion, you can filter for pretty much any piece of metadata that is in the page. In Taskade, that's tags, uh, assigned to person, and then the date. That's it. <laughs> so it's, it's just limited. Um, sorting, same sort of thing. It's very, very limited. I don't actually remember if I saw a sorting option in Taskade. No, I did. It was just limited. The next point is the templates, and the templates inside of the space kind of makes sense. It's definitely a different style of workflow when it comes to those templates, but they're not as useful as they are in Notion, partly because of the other things that I've mentioned, having linked databases, having columns, having self-referential filters in Notion, which that doesn't even exist. It's not possible to do that in Taskade. So the templates are quite limited as to what you can do. So if you're looking for high functionality, high flexibility, Taskade is not right in my opinion. Just go to Notion, understand Notion, learn, spend a week learning Notion, and then you're good. And then when it comes to the templates from public, that's great. I didn't really look at them because I felt like I understood the app pretty well. Obviously, there are things about Taskade that I don't know. So those of you that know Taskade better than me, put it in the comments. But a very quick thing to mention is Taskade does have an API that you can link your calendar to. So if you do use Google Calendar or Apple Calendar, you can link your Taskade calendar to whatever that calendar is. And Notion currently, at the point of making this video, doesn't have an API. So that is another advantage for for Taskade if you use an external calendar app. I personally don't, so it wasn't an advantage for me. So for me, I'm definitely not moving away from Notion at all for Taskade, uh, just because there's so much more flexibility, customization, and ability to do different things in Notion than in Taskade. But for those of you that don't want to learn Notion, don't like Notion for whatever reason, Taskade is very, very simple to use, easy to get to use, um, and it looks kind of nice, but again, I'm less of the looks and more of the functionality. That's just me. If you're interested to learn more about Notion, make sure you check out this video over here, and I'll see you there.